Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine and taking care of yourselves. Welcome back to your English second classes of class 3rd. Student in the previous video we have started lesson number 3 and the explanation was already done. Now today I'm going to continue with the chapter with the book work. So all of you please take out your book and open page number 42. Lesson number 3 Matilda the reader of books. But before starting the book work let me just give you a short summary of the story. So student the name of the chapter is Matilda the reader of books and this is a story about a little girl and Matilda is a four year old main characteristic of the story and she's an extraordinary girl right and she's the child of Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood. She's brilliant and intelligent. She could speak and had impressive vocabulary before the age of two. And when she was three, she taught herself to read by studying newspapers and magazines that lay around the house. Do you remember? Okay. So at the age of four, she naturally wanted uh, to read the books. Okay. But the only book in the house was Easy Cooking, which she read from cover to cover. So one day what happened? One day she set off to the public library public library is common to everyone so she also went to the public library and the librarian Mrs. Phelps pointed her to uh, go through the child uh, book section from there she could find the children's book and then she can read so what happened she would find herself a cozy corner and read one book after another okay so after this what happened student she went to the library every afternoon and after reading all the children's book, now she wanted the grown-up books because she has just covered all the children's book which was present in the library. Then Mrs. Phelps surprised and recommended the book Great Expectations. When she asked about any grown-up books by Mrs. Phelps, she suggested her the Great Expectation book. So Mrs. Phelps told Marilda that she can take the books home and she can read. Since that day she visited the library, she would visit the library once in a week and she loved to read books. So this was the short story, short summary of the story, Matilda, the reader of the books. Okay, so now student, I'm going to start with a book work. All of you please open page number 45. First of all, I'm going to start with a word wall. Be a book detective. Be detective. What is the meaning of detective? Detective वो होते हैं जो जासूस होते हैं, है ना? पता है ना आपको? So use the clues given below to complete the book works. The word book is given, but we have to read out the clues and then we have to find out the name. So number A, a piece of furniture with shelves to hold books. ये रही आपकी एक शेल्फ बनी है ये पीस ऑफ फर्नीचर्स होते हैं जिनको जॉइन करके शेल्फ बनाया जाता है तो इसको क्या बोलते हैं दैट इज नोन एज बुक शेल्फ ओके नाउ बी अ पीस ऑफ थिक पेपर दैट वी पुट बिटवीन द पेजेस ऑफ अ बुक टू हेल्प अस टू गो दैट पेज अगेन क्विकली आप लोगों ने भी कभी ऐसा करा होगा कि आप लोग अपने बुक में एक पेपर रख लेते हो फोल्ड करके ताकि जो मैम ने आपको कल पढ़ाया था फिर आप जब नेक्स्ट डे स्कूल आओ तो वहीं से उसको ओपन कर लो तो दैट इज़ नोन एज बुक मार्क उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं उसको हम बोलते हैं बुक मार्क ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट पेज अ पर्सन हु रीड्स अ लॉट जो बहुत ज़्यादा पढ़ता हो दैट इज़ नोन एज बुक वॉम अब आप लोग सोच रहे होंगे कि वॉम तो हम कीड़े को भी बोलते हैं Actually, a person who reads a lot is known as book form. In Hindi, we can say kitabi kira. Hai na? Now D, a book of blank pages in which we draw. So that, all of you knows very well, that is known as drawing book. Now E, a book of line pages in which we write. That is known as writing book. Number F, a book used for the study of a subject. So that is known as your textbook. Or reference book okay now G a book of recipes recipes in which you can find out the different cooking recipes so that is known as recipe book or you can say cooking book now H a book of blank pages for sticking cuttings drawings or pictures in it so you all are having now one scrapbook in which you can cut and paste something whatever the assignment your teacher is giving so that book is known as scrapbook Okay, student. So, you have to write down this work in your book. Now, next page. 
next work sorry this one is your next work from the story find words opposite in the meaning to the words given below so here some of the words given here you have to find out the opposite words from the story so the answers i have written here with false with false means galti se bhara hua to iska opposite kya hoga perfect means without no mistake now cold and uncomfortable मतलब जहाँ हमें आराम ना मिल रहा हो अनकम्फर्टेबल तो उसका अपोजिट वर्ड है कोजी विच यू कैन फाइंड इन द स्टोरी मीन्स अ कम्फर्टेबल पोजिशन नाउ स्टार्ट ए फिनिश्ड डल एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी डिसलाइक्ड लाइक्ड ओके दिस वर्क ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू इन योर बुक ओके मीन्स हेयर यू कैन राइट डाउन द अपोजिट वर्ड्स ऑफ दीज नाउ नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज कंप्लीट दीज सेंटेंसेज यूजिंग going to plus action word so here in this what you have to do student we use going to plus action word to talk or write about the future means we use going to when we plan to do something so here by looking these pictures whatever in these pictures these people are planning we have to use the word going to and plus we have to add some action word action word means jo hum kaam kar rahe hain so number 1 in this picture i am dash my homework so this girl what she is going to do i am going to do my homework now number b we are dash the plants so here two boys are standing and what they are going to do they are going to water the plants number c father is going to dash a button so what father is going to father is going to stitch a button okay the next one is d he is dash on the board so what he is going to he is going to write on the board number e mahi is dash a picture so what she is going to do she is going to paint a picture so mahi is going to paint a picture number f we are dash hopscotch so we are going to play hopscotch okay so what you have noticed here in each sentence we used going to word plus action word okay student so in the same way you have to do in your book now next page complete the following sentences using your own ideas you have to complete these sentences using your own ideas number a i like to draw and color number b i don't like to watch tv number c my friends like to play football number d my friends don't like to fight with each other number e my teacher likes to talk about good manners number f my teacher does not like to scold us number g my grandmother likes to tell me stories number h my grandmother does not like to eat junk food so student i made these sentences and you can make the sentences according to your choice as well okay now coming to the next page number 50 listen and speak well matilda went to a library every day as you all know so while going anywhere we must follow the safety rules right if you are going outside or somewhere else there are safety rules and we must obey that safety rules so listen to the list of the school bus safety rules and discuss them with your friends then put a tick against the things you should do and put a cross against the things you should not do okay so this work is your homework you have to do this work by yourself this is very simple like i'll tell you the first one walking to the bus stop and waiting for the bus aap us time kya karoge jab aap ko bus ke paas jana hai aur aap bus ka wait kar rahe ho to walk on the pavement jo pedal jaane ka rasta hai aap us pe walk karoge yes run and play around ya fir road pe bhagoge no wait in a safe place safe place pe wait karoge yes to in the same way you have to do this also by yourself now next homework write well this is also a homework for you this is a book report in which what you have to do a book report is a summary of the books that you read fill in the blanks below to complete the report of your favorite story book so student 
what is a book report a book report is a summary of the books that you read so here what you have to do you have to fill in the blanks below to complete the report of your favorite book whatever is your favorite book in in this what you have to do first of all the title of the book means which is your favorite book you have to write down the title of that book then next the author's name you have to write then characters favorite character in that book then three words to describe the character means how was the character like i'll give you example just now we have read the story of matilda so the story was about matilda so we can write down the title of the book matilda the book reader the other name we can write down and then the favorite character some of the characters was mrs phillips and matilda as well and the parents of matilda so you can write down here matilda and what was the quality of matilda you can write down she is brilliant extraordinary intelligent okay now setting place place places where the story happened you have to write down this also and three words to describe the setting now about the story also you have to write down like beginning what happened in the beginning of the story then in the middle of the story and at the end of the story now what was your favorite event in the story that also you have to mention here and afterwards you have to just give a response means a feedback what kind of book was this book is awesome pretty good or okay okay about the book which you are giving the description here about that you have to tell whether the book was awesome pretty good or okay okay so this work also you have to do by yourself and this is very simple work okay student now in the next video we will meet again with the remaining portion that means question answers and the other work okay thank you stay home stay safe and take care